This video, brought to you by Floyd County Schools Department of Instructional Technology, is a five-part series on leveling up your Google Meet with interactive lessons. Part three of five is all about using Pear Deck in Google Meet. In part three of our series, we will take a look at how we can use Pear Deck to level up our Google Meet. Pear Deck is an add-on in Google Slides that allows you to embed interactive content into your Google Slide Deck presentation. This means that your students will be able to view your Google Slide presentation and then respond to any questions that you present on their individual student device. The student responses will be recorded and you will be able to view them in real time. Before you can begin using Pear Deck with your students, you need to first create your Google Slide Deck presentation using the interactive cards from Pear Deck. You can add interactive content to your presentation using the template library or by adding interactive content to slides that you have already created. To do this, you will use the Add Student Question feature. You will first want to make sure that you have selected the correct slide, and then you will click on the type of interactive content that you would like to add to that specific slide. This will convert your slide into an interactive content slide for your students. This means that your students will be able to respond to your question or your prompt on their individual device. If you need help coming up with ideas for your interactive content, check out the Pear Deck template library. They have a lot of great suggestions for activities that can be used at the beginning, middle, and end of a lesson, and they also have suggestions for activities based on subject area. If you find a slide that you would like to add to your presentation, you simply will click on the slide icon and you will notice that an entirely new slide will be added to the end of your slide deck presentation. When you are happy with the format of your Google slide presentation, you are now ready to begin presenting your slide deck to your students. When you are ready to launch your presentation, you will open your Google Slide and select Add-ons and choose to open the Pear Deck add-on. On the right-hand side, you will want to select Start Lesson. At this point, you will have the option to choose whether you would like for the activity to be, to be student-paced or teacher-paced. For this example, we're going to choose the instructor paced mode because we want to use Pear Deck in our Google Meet. When Pear Deck launches in a new page, you will notice that there are two ways for students to join. They can go to joinpd.com and type in the code that is provided below, or you can choose to give the students a link by copying the link and pasting it in your Google Meet chat section. As your students begin to access the link and join, you will notice that the number of students will increase in your session. Click Start Class and your session will begin. At this point, you will be in control of your student's presentation. The students will not be able to move that tab forward or backwards until you advance to the next slide. If you would like to see the student responses in real time, click on Show Responses. This will cause the student responses to appear on your page. Please keep in mind that if you are presenting your page, this will show for all students that are in your Google Meet. There are a few additional features across the bottom that you can take a look at. If you click on the three dots, notice that there is an option to turn on student pace mode or to make your view full screen or to end your session. If you're finished with your presentation, you can click end session, but if you want to move to the next question, Simply click Hide Responses and advance to the next slide. When your students have had a chance to finish interacting through your presentation, you can once again click on the three dots and choose to end your session. If you would like to save your responses, you will want to title your session and then choose Save and End Session. When you have excused students from your Google Meet, you may decide that you would like to review your session by going back to Google Slides, clicking on Pear Deck, and choosing Review Sessions. A list of the sessions that you have used will now appear. 
If you would like to reopen the session, you can simply click on the session name and select Open Project. This will allow you to review the student responses that were collected in your presentation. If you have any additional questions about how to use Pear Deck and specifically how to use Pear Deck in Google Meet, please contact your ITS and they will be happy to help you.